Good morning. Welcome to your early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum, America's kick-ass coach and psychologist, and I think it is hilarious the crapshoot that is Facebook in terms of no flip screen today, worked yesterday, might work tomorrow, not so much today. <laughs> I just think that's hilarious. Anywho, welcome to your early morning intuitive guidance. Hello, Lou Ann. Glad you're here. Looks like someone else is here, but you're not popping up. So again, flip screen is on the kibosh today. So maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Um, we have a card today from the Virtues Reflection Cards by the Virtues Project. And I love our word for today. I hope you enjoy it too. Good morning, Pat. Welcome, welcome. Our word for the day is joyfulness. Joyfulness, and it's a couple of dolphins playing in the water. So they can be our role models for how we're supposed to do this thing and do it better. So joyfulness, a couple of nice deep breaths just to settle in. Take in all that you can from this card. So many of us can use some joyfulness right now. You might be saying, Bonnie, you're nuts. How can we be joyful given all the crap that's going on? But the card has some information in it that I think will be relevant to that. And Pat, you just popped up again. So there's double the message here for you. <laughs> all right, joyfulness. Joyfulness is an inner wellspring of peace and happiness. Note that word, inner. It is beyond ordinary happiness because it is not an occasional emotional reaction to luck or circumstances. In other words, it's not externally driven. It's from within us. <clears throat> Excuse me, frog again today. So regardless of um, what's going on around us, we can remain in this joyful state. Now that's going to take some practice, right? Most of us have been trained, highly trained, through media, through advertising, through all kinds of things, to be very reactive to what's going on outside of us. We need to practice being in tune with what's going on inside of us. So I'm going to read that sentence again. It is beyond ordinary happiness because it is not an occasional emotional reaction to luck or circumstances. It is a deep, <clears throat> excuse me, it is a deep sense of well-being that fills us with delight and hope. We appreciate the gift of life and savor its richness. We enjoy simple pleasures. We find the humor in things. Humor is indispensable, especially in times like these. So find little humors. We allow joy to carry us through the painful times. We take ourselves lightly. Boy, I need that one. I've been getting way too serious about crap that I have no control over. We take ourselves lightly and remember to play. Remember to play. Joy comes when we are being true to a soulful purpose. A soulful purpose. We had a quote last night. Let me see if I can find it on my sheet here because I haven't put my notes away yet. But the gist of it was that our ego is in its smallness. Our ego does not think big. Our ego plays not to lose. Our soul, on the other hand, is expansive and is playing to win this game of life in a joyful, cheerful, lighthearted way. Okay? Not about competition, but just about fully engaging with life. Fully engaging with life. Joy comes when we are being true to a soulful purpose. It gives us an abiding sense that all is well. All is well. The quote is by Abdul Baha. Joy gives us wings. In times of joy, our strength is more vital, our intellect keener, and our understanding less clouded. We could use some less clouded understanding in this world right now, couldn't we? We seem better able to cope with the world and to find our sphere of influence. Our sphere of influence. And think about that. So I think about my sphere of influence. All of you are in my sphere of influence. You're influencing me through your comments, through showing up every day, etc. So we have a reciprocity going on here. We want to think about who's all in our circle of reciprocity. Who influences us? Who are we influencing? 
do we want to allow those to influence us? I think especially with regard to media, um, what are we choosing to allow to influence us? Is it dimming our joy light? Might want to pick differently then. So here are some I statements. Pick out what you like. Make one of them a mantra for today. Whatever works for you. The practice of joyfulness. I have a deep sense that life is good. And if you're struggling with that because of humanity's foibles, expand beyond humans. Consider other things. The crocus are still going to come up. The sun's still going to shine. The snow's still going to fall here and there. The water still flows. There's a deep sense there that life is good, right? So even if it, with the human family you're having some struggles, look beyond the human family, okay? But even within the human family, you will find examples that will <clears throat> fill your heart. So take time to look for them. The awesome human alerts. I've been, I've been so busy lately, I haven't done as many awesome human alerts. But on my personal page, I will of, often, in all capital letters, because I want to make a point, um, put out an awesome human alert. A human treating other humans well, a human treating animals well, a human having a brilliant idea, etc., etc. Those are all awesome human alerts. We need to pay attention to that stuff and not turn our attention to <clears throat> the things we don't like and the things we want to have be different. Support peace efforts. Don't waste your time arguing about war. Support peace efforts, okay? Um, in terms of What's going on with the environment? Put your energy into the corrections, not into lamenting the problem. Don't waste your time lamenting the problem. Focus on the solutions. That's a higher order level of thinking. All right? The, um, <clears throat> Deepak Chopra, our problem solving focus has to be on bringing in the light, not trying to conquer the darkness. Einstein, we do not solve the problem with the same level of consciousness that created it. We got to rise above here. And that was actually what we talked about on the moon ceremony last night. That's really what we're being called to do right now is rise above, transcend, step into a different way of being. We have to quit playing not to lose. We must play to win. And again, not in the competitive sense, but in the fully showing up for life sense. Okay? So we talked about exploring our relationship with the divine. Spending some time being in that silent, still place. Communing with all that is. That's a good use of your time. Five minutes here, five minutes there. I don't care. Maybe you make it. Every stop sign, every stop light, you're just going to connect in with all that is, what's greater than us, the great divine. All right? So, I enjoy the richness of life's experiences. I appreciate simple pleasures. I'm being manipulative today. My friend Don made his famous chocolate chip cookie dough, and I'm going to bake it shortly before the appraiser gets here to make the house smell good. So if he wants a cookie, he can have a cookie too. But um, little pleasures, smells. I, I'm a smell person. I love. So yesterday I was thinking about, geez, the end of May, the lilacs start to bloom because I have a couple of lilac bushes out back. And I was thinking, I really love that smell the smell of lilacs. And then a card I picked yesterday at my breakfast group had lilies of the valley on it. And that's another smell that I love. And I've got one whole side of the motel lined with lilies of the valley. So I can bring up that smell in my mind. And again, even if your circumstances right now are a little bit limited, your mind is not. Your mind is not unless you choose to limit it. So if you want to smell lilacs, if you want to smell lilies of the valley, turn your mind loose on it. It'll create it for you. All right? I am optimistic and hopeful. So again, the optimist sees opportunities in every difficulty. The pessimist sees difficulties in every opportunity. Which camp are you leaning into? Right? What are the opportunities in the things that are difficult? And yes, I know when you're in the middle of those difficulties, you want to say, well, yeah, Bonnie, to hell with that. 
um, this is not fun. Agreed, agreed, agreed. But there's always something to learn. What am I meant to learn from this? What's important? As I'm sitting beside the road with the hood up and the steam pouring out, what am I meant to learn from this? Okay, so I learned that the tow truck driver's a really nice guy. Cool. That's a good learning. All right? I am in touch with my purpose. What are you here to do? What are you here to do? Who are you here to be? Who's the real you? Those are all things we're meant to be exploring right here, right now. All right? I feel inner peace even when life is difficult. Again, my favorite yoga pose and Bobby Silverstone's comment every single time, at the center of life's storms, I stand serene. At the center of life's storms, I stand serene. And it's something we can aim for. Do we always hit it? No. But partway through a freak out, if we can catch it and go, uh-uh, I need to be at peace. This is what it is. It's going to unfold in divine right timing and divine right order. However it's meant to go, I have no control over it. I'm letting it go. Okay, God, do whatever with this. Thy will be done, right? I am thankful for the gift of joyfulness. It is the natural state of my soul. It's the natural state of my soul. Look at little kids. They're pretty joyful. They giggle, they toddle around, they do their thing. They are wide open, curious, interested. Recapture a little of that. Recapture a little of that. That will um, make your adulthood a whole lot more pleasant. <laughs> Okay, so have an awesome day. Your mission for today is to practice joyfulness in large ways and small ways, whatever that's going to be. And when you encounter someone who is not in joy, your mission is to stay in joy and spread a little of that their way. So the other day there was someone who came into my world who was being pretty darn crabby. And I just kind of sent her energy center energy and things shifted over time that was fine I didn't have to take on that crabbiness it wasn't mine in the first place just allowing her to be where she was and sending out the energy to to for me to stay in a good place and to send that good energy to her that's your mission for today have a blast with it enjoy giggle laugh have some fun we'll see you again tomorrow bye-bye